Hey, how's it going? I'm here at uh, All EV Canada and I'm with David Giles. And what kind of cool stuff are we going to be doing this morning, David? Oh, we're going to remove the battery out of the vehicle. Uh, we got a Tesla 2019 behind us. Uh, basically, we drove it in and uh, it's going to be the start of a project where we're going to be taking uh, the battery, stripping it out, and making essentially an interactive uh, Model 3 Tesla demonstration trainer vehicle. So let's get dirty. I'm excited. I'm smiling right now because uh, <laughs> last time we took a battery out of uh, Leaf, a little Nissan yep. Leaf, this is a lot more complicated. This battery has what that's different from the Leaf? Uh, it's actually bolted from the top as well as the bottom. So we gotta take all the interior out of the vehicle. We gotta get the vehicle prepped. Uh, and plus in the same instance, we're actually prepping the vehicle for what we're gonna be doing with it. So we're gonna be removing the doors. We're gonna be removing all the interior components, put it on the hoist, drop it the, uh, the main uh, high voltage battery. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna get started from there. And exactly, because we're going to make a kit car out of it, there's going to be some things that we're going to take out that don't have to necessarily come out to take the battery out, but some things still have to come out anyway. Anyways, you'll hear about that <laughs> when we get we get into it for sure. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go at it. Yeah, totally. Let's do it. Let's go. So we're at a point now where we've got all the interior out. You have to take the front seats out as well as the back seats. I'm going to see a few extra stuff come apart in this car because, as we said. David, it's going to be a project car so that people yep. can climb through it and it's some neat stuff. Trainer car. Dave will point out some bolts that had to come out. Yeah, these four bolts have to come out. They hold the top of the penthouse in. So, but we're going to remove these anyways because they are going to be part of our project vehicle, and we need to remove them. Actually, in mean, the demo vehicle is not going to have a battery in it at all, right? You're going no. to do something cool with this. Yeah, this is going to show. Like, I'm going to pop off the cover. I got to disconnect the BMS system electronics here. So it's a little pull tab and that basically disables it. Bolts are already out. All the bolts for the pen host are out. I still have the high voltage charger plugged in, but there's no power to it right now. So, so that's got to come out. That's yeah. And then I'm going, to start, I'm going to do all the bolts here. Okay. And then there's one connection over here. We have to disconnect this yeah, one. Yeah, that's the 12 volt system. That's 12 volt. Oh, this is only 12 volts over here. Yeah, so I can touch this. <laughs> okay. Great. All right. So there you go. We'll leave you there. This whole interior has to come out because there's going to be some more bolts up here that uh, go down through the floor into the top of the battery pack. Did you get there? So this is a special socket designed for the cover for the penthouse. If you notice, it's a five bolt star, almost like a Torx, but it's, nice. it's, it's not. No, it's a special socket for Tesla. So we actually had these machined to do that. So no way. Yeah, that's done by a machine shop. Ooh. So I gave them one of the old bolts and they matched it up, see and seed it. And now they make these little sockets for us. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. So I'm gonna take these out now. Now, do they have to come out for, as part of our normal battery no. removal? The only reason we're taking them out is because we're going to use this as our uh, trainer, so I'm going to take everything out anyway. Take it so, out anyway. But okay. typically, we wouldn't have to remove any of these components. I just leave the four bolt, take these four bolts out, uh, disconnect the charger, disconnect the 12 volts, disconnect the BMS, and uh, basically it'll drop right out after we undo all the other bolts. And all the secrets are under here. So those fasteners stayed right with this cover. I yeah, they built right into the cover. Oh boy. And there's our room cover removal. So as I removed the two bolts here, on here and here. This is basically the safety disconnect. Uh, it's a pyro fuse. So you know, plug it. So really it's fairly simple. There's uh, the sodium azide uh, connector in there that blows the uh, charge inside the connector. So if the airbags go off, there's a high current, then this thing the deactivates. Well, actually, maybe we'll pull this apart after. Ah, that might be another video. Yeah, Boy. that's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, I'll throw that there. So now I have open connectors here, and these are live. So you can see what the voltage is on these guys. So it's left in the packer room. 84 volts DC and should be the 100 and the same. 89, 90 volts. That little lightning bolt? Yeah. That means it's uh, dangerous, lethal. Yeah. 
Oh, that's, uh, I'm glad you got the gloves on. I'm just staying over here. So, anyways, that's only I'm only getting one part of it because that's the two contactors. There's a contactor here, right there, and then there's another contactor down at the end. Right here. So that's the power and ground. There's our fuses. There's our three main fuses for the circuit, and uh, of course I'm gonna disconnect now the high voltage switch here. So let's pull this switch over, lift the lever, and disconnect. That's it. I'm gonna do the two tens on here as well. It's a long way to go to hot wire a car. Oh yeah, yeah. You're not uh, not doing that easy. That's a key card. That's the security card. Where that where that card sits on. Yep. That's basically the receiver. So it sits right here. Yeah. Hang on a second. Score. You found it. No. Something better than that. Money. Check it out. Oh, that's right on. You can't beat that. Hang on to that. <laughs> Got it. What's up? Okay. Yes, it comes out in a fair size unit. So a little bit of clean the parts and then we take the carpet out. Yep, the carpet is all safe. So now you can see why the carpet had to come out because we actually have some fasteners underneath the carpet that goes straight down through the battery. A couple up here, on the other side, and we will uh, make them out next. I think you can spin around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Oh yeah, we're never gonna get this battery out. I know, boys of CarQuest, hook us up. Yeah. Woo! Get set down on the job.